I am naturally a lazy person. I work hard every day. I get up out of bed. I put on my clothes cause I've got bills to pay. And that may surprise some of you. Between waking up at 4 a.m., working 70 plus hours a week, going to the gym religiously, typically lazy isn't the first word used to describe me, at least. I hope not. But to an extent, I think all humans are born inherently lazy. It's only through years of very conscious decision making, discipline, and calculated action that certain people differentiate themselves. The good news is that everyone has the ability to break the mold, so if you're feeling a little lazy, this video will help you find a little extra motivation. I do not enjoy forcing myself out of bed early on the weekends at all, but this is the only time I have to work on YouTube videos, so I really need to maximize my time away from work. And when it comes to waking up or doing anything you don't want to do for that matter, the number one tip I can give you is stop giving yourself options. You really have to train your brain to understanding there is no decision to be made when it comes to certain things. And that way, when you hear an alarm, there's no thinking. You wake up simply because there is no other choice. This concept takes time to master, but once you're able to condition your brain to do so, it can be applied to so many different areas of life. Think of it like this. Do you ever have a flight that you need to catch or a big presentation at work that you just don't show up for? Of course not, because you have to do those things and subconsciously your brain knows and t is telling you that repetitively so you don't even think twice about it. So the key here is convincing yourself that any activity, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish is just as important as going to work or any of those things. And once you start to do that repetitively, it will start to register and it will become much easier to do over time. So for me, waking up early, going to the gym, these things are not optional in my life. They are things that I am absolutely going to do. And at this point in my life, 30 years old, I don't even think twice about it. And that is where I'm getting ready to head the gym, my favorite part of the day. And that did not always be the case. I was talking to Megan about this the other day. The first time that I ever worked out, I hated it. I never wanted to go back, but that's a topic for another video. So my favorite pre-workout meal right now, four rice cakes, protein sludge. I'm going to be using the cake pop. It tastes delicious. You guys know you can always save tra save 15% using Travis at PEScience.com. A little bit of honey drizzle there. Have this, get some caffeine, and we'll be on our way. Just kidding. I've been sitting in my truck for a few minutes thinking about how I want to word number two because it might come off as a little bit harsh, but considering what it is, I think that would be one a little ironic and maybe even hypocritical. So I'm just going to say, you can't be soft. The number one epidemic I've noticed amongst our generation is that people are just soft. If you've read David Goggins' book, Can't Hurt Me, he talks a lot about mental calluses, something many people haven't developed yet. We have people whose days are seemingly ruined over YouTube video titles or advertisements, they blame politicians for their problems, and get offended over any opinion that doesn't align with their own, and the list goes on. This type of mindset is a sure way to result in mediocrity at best. My best recommendation to get past that is to always put situations into perspective. Understand you're not a victim and are in complete control of your own life. Seek out situations that are uncomfortable and don't associate something being hard with any kind of negative connotation. One of my favorite sayings, albeit a little bit cliche, is that if something scares you, run straight towards it. All right, guys, so for post-workout meal, we are going to have this ham and cheese sandwich. I don't know why I was craving this, but look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? And then we are going to have a bowl of Brussels sprouts. My OGs already know Brussels sprouts, the best vegetable of all time. We are on a mission to make vegetables cool again, and Megan and I have been on our game this new year. We have been hitting our macros perfectly, mostly thanks to her for giving me a check. 
And that leads me into number three, which is surround yourself with like-minded people with similar goals and ambitions. I'm very fortunate that my significant other is an extremely hard worker and her work ethic is actually the first thing that ever attracted me to her. And I can say that because I didn't even know what she looked like. I just knew that she was a workaholic like myself. And I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. And then lo and behold, she's also the most beautiful person on the planet, which helps obviously. But if your significant other maybe isn't so much, just dump their ass or have them subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you'll be fine. Where are you going? The gym. You excited? No. <laughs> but you're still going? <laughs> That's dedication right there. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag blessed. Yeah, I'm proud of you. I might even go down there with you. Yeah. Maybe. Should I? Guys, should I go down there and train her? She's like, no, she doesn't want me down there. And in addition to the people that you surround yourself with, what kind of information are you consuming online? Are you reading educational articles? Are you trying to learn and become better? Because all of these things will inevitably lead to you working harder to get to certain areas that you want to be in life. Who are you following? The people that you follow online will play a big role in this as well. Are you just following all these Tatiana Tinas on the ground? and if so that's okay but you might not it might not be motivating you to go out in the world and, and do certain things I know someone like Nick Bear someone that I follow very closely the guy is kind of crazy when you think about all the things that he does but for me someone who I consider myself to be a hard worker but I watch what he's doing and I'm like dang I need to step it up and he actually has a book coming out that I'm very very excited about I believe it's January 22nd I'll put it on the screen it's called 25 hours a day and I did have the opportunity to sit down with him and interview him for a video a few months back if you haven't checked that one out I would highly recommend it a lot of words of wisdom in there and then yeah, I put myself out there and I learned well I can do these things and what else am I capable of I realized that I am capable of almost anything I want to yeah. I'm not necessarily going to be an expert or the best at it, but I, I'll, I can do it. So it's like, how far can I put it? But it all comes back to who is going to progress the way that you think? Who is going to be able to hold you accountable? And who are the people that you want to emulate? Because I think it's really cool to see what is possible when you put in the work and all these people accomplishing all these amazing things. And to me, that's really motivating. And it makes me want to get out of this chair and get out into the world and make a name for myself already destined for you and, it's like, and I believed it so much so she sometimes will even get upset with me if I'm not celebrating like, all right guys it is dinner time and we're gonna take you somewhere new but we're like you know who wants to try anything new when you got bar taco right across the road and what we learned is bar taco is actually very very cheap when you don't go in and buy all kinds of margaritas 23 bucks for both of us that is a steal and the food quality is amazing I get the same thing every single time but you know I'll show you guys anyway we got the goods, guys. Everything you ever needed in life is inside of this bag. So here is what we love about Bar Taco. You get a perfect little serving here. You get some veggies, you get rice, you get your protein source. I always choose their duck. It is so amazing. I never even had duck before I, before I went to Bar Taco. Then I will get one duck taco to the side. This is one of my favorite restaurants here in Raleigh. I was trying to go off the diet and uh, boil the macros out of the house, but luckily uh, my better half over here, she's keeping us in check. Megan has learned absolutely nothing by living with me. She's over here getting clickbaited. I won't even tell the people. The fourth point that I wanted to mention before we end the video is always keep your eye on the prize. Remind yourself why you're doing what you're doing. Going to the gym, for example. Very few people go to the gym just to burn an hour of their day. Most of us are trying to change our physiques, feel better, look better. You know, there's some reason that most people are there. So on the days that you don't wanna go, you wanna stay in your warm bed, you don't wanna sweat, whatever it is, you know, just kind of remind yourself that, hey, the reason I'm doing all of that is to get to this end result. And if it doesn't seem worth it, then maybe that's not really what you want. Maybe that's not actually a goal of yours. And something interesting that I've noticed is a lot of people will say they have certain goals, but a lot of times they're derived from pressure of society or their friends or, or whoever, and it's really quite meaningless to them. And then they feel defeated because they never actually end up achieving them. I would make the argument if you're not willing to put in the action to achieve something, then you don't really want it. And that's fine, you just have to find those things that you do and then take the action to accomplish those. So it might take some goal reevaluation 
that's even a term, but if you're able to do that, then I can promise you, if it's something that means something to you, then you will take the time and the effort to do so. Okay guys, Megan is watching the weirdest show ever right now. What is this called? Servant. Servant on Apple TV Plus, which Good Morning that's on there, definitely check that out. This is just weird, but I had a lot of food that I fell behind on, so I just had a protein bar. And I'm also gonna have the Poverty Brownie. We have two packets of low sugar oatmeal. I believe this is the maple brown sugar. Three rice cakes topped with light and fit Greek yogurt, just to add a little bit more flavor there. So this is like a thousand calorie feast right before bed, but it's just what happens when you get behind, you get busy and, and whatnot. And I'm still using Avatar Nutrition to help me out with my macronutrients. And if you guys need some assistance in that area, you can use Travis to save 10%. And remember in January, they're running it for $9.99 per month. So it's a really, really solid deal. Uh, if you guys wanna know anything more about that, just shoot me, some, uh, shoot me a message and we can talk it out. But overall, that looks pretty awesome. That is the weirdest show ever. Can't get into that. But that is going to be the end of the video. And I guess I should end it saying, I am by no means perfect. There's so many areas in my life that I look at and I'm just thinking, why am I still so lazy? And we all fall into that, you know, from time to time. I think it's just a good, a good way to remind ourselves how to kind of get back into things if you're not exactly where you want to be at because we all have room for improvement. So thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. I'd really appreciate that. Let me know what you guys think about this style of video. Hopefully it was informative. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I think I already said everything. I'm tired, guys. I look forward to talking to you guys next time.